After the school shooting in Florida claimed the lives of 17 people, local schools are taking a look at current threat protocol. Our Sarah Winkleman spoke with Brainerd High School officials about their efforts to keep students safe. After a school shooting, it's common for the school districts to pause, gather the information, and reflect on their own buildings. We're really looking at our schools and protocols and what we can do, um, and working with parents to talk through what our protocols are to keep kids safe. At the high school, there are measures in place such as cameras, security monitoring, and even a school resource officer who keeps his squad car parked out front all day. And I'm in the hallways every minute that I can, and I'm in the building 98.9% .9 of the time. So hopefully that in itself is considered a deterrent. But if there were to be a threatening situation, the school has a protocol in place known as ALICE, which stands for alert, lockdown, initiate, counter, or evacuate. So anytime that we have a threat on the, on the campus here, um, it's using plain language, and anybody can get on uh, the um, on a radio or on a, the phone, and it's uh, <clears throat> broadcast it out saying, listen, we have a threat in the building. Then based on training, the staff and even students decide what action to take. We give them information not to alarm them or to raise um, their concern, but so that they really know what the plan is. One of the things Brainerd schools are continuing to look at is how to best monitor who's coming through the doors. How can we do a better job of securing our entrances um, during the school day uh, to keep students and staff uh, protected and safe? Questions like these are exactly what the district hopes to have answered with their upcoming referendum. But until then, they want to keep an open dialogue with the students. Well, I think it's natural for students to ask questions and uh, be aware of what's going on around them. They live in a very digital age, so um, they get news quickly. And so we encourage our teachers to talk with the students, answer questions, and uh, share concerns with us, administration, so that we can address them. The safety team plans to meet next week to review and update procedures as needed. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The ALICE system ha for threats has been in place for the past three years. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.